Hey guys, Moan Pobert here and today we're going to talk about how to achieve a work-life balance. Let's get to it. So hey, if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about me sharing and documenting my journey, being involved in more than 10 businesses over the last few years, seven-figure businesses. I made money, lost money. I am basically here to share and document my journey, to show you things that worked, things that didn't work, to make sure that you're not making the same mistakes. And I'm also here to open your eyes that you can grow your business by acquisitions or even your first business can just be a business that you're buying and buying into revenues right away instead of starting from scratch, which is very, very difficult. Um, but again, if you have an amazing technology idea, then why not? I mean, it's up to you really. So this is what this channel is all about. Like, subscribe, comment if, you, if you're new. Um, hit the notification button because we are, I'm posting daily. Other than that, yeah, how do you, how do you achieve a work-life balance? So here are my thoughts on that. It's up to you if you want to take it or leave it. This is based on my experience on things that worked for me and things that I walk in, uh, basically watch and look at my mentors doing. Um, but let's, let's get into the exact details. So to begin with, I don't believe in work-life balance. I more believe in work-life integration. Like I don't like the idea of taking a week, uh, a vacation for like a month without basically doing what I'm doing right now, which is work. Um, and for me, it's just too much. I, for me, doing work is what I love. It's what making me fulfilled in the end of the day, the production of things, the uh, creation of things. And I don't like the idea of working a lot and then have the basically relaxation for like a few weeks in a vacation. I don't like that. I think that you need to find, yes, a way to integrate a work-life balance during your day. So, for example, I definitely believe in the fact that you can only work only so many hours productively. So, you need to, in between, have some kind of a, a relaxation period. If it's meditation what I, that I do, if it's working out that I do, if it's eating healthy... All those things are basically your vacation times every day. That's how I see that, right? So, or if it's socializing with your friends every now and then, or with your other uh, loved ones, and it comes down to finding those times to relax during the day. That's what I like the most. And maybe every now and then to take like a few days of like complete vacations to, for me, it's not even a vacation. I see it as a thinking on the business time instead of, I don't care how many business you own or manage other people, you still many times do things again and again and again on a repeat and you need to basically disconnect many times to look things on things objectively so you basically won't uh, be too much emotional about your business if it makes sense the more objective you are at things the better like i like the there's a sentence to say um, give yourself the advice that you would give to uh, a good friend of yours so think to yourself hey this is my good friend what advice would i give him and think as that person is you, basically. What would you give your, your best friend advice if it was basically your life? And I also think it's about getting better at all of those things. So obviously, we have the health, wealth, love, happiness, the, the kind of like four key main areas in life. And every week, you want to give yourself some kind of a score. Tell yourself, hey, from 1 to 10, what was this week for me in terms of health? From 1 to 10, what was this week for me in terms of um, other areas of my life, in my happiness? And then ask yourself, what can I do next week? So if you rate it a 7, what can I do next week to make it a 10? How can I make next week a 10 so I feel completely energized and I love my um, health side of things or my business side of things? And really think to yourself, how can I make it better? How can I integrate everything that is important to me in life? during the day so every day i believe you should work on your health wealth love and happiness and find ways to integrate everything together so remember tracking thing is really really important i believe whatever get measured get improved basically you can't improve on things that you are not really measuring and, and see where you're at so that's the first thing and then try to think how can you combine few things together so if you want to learn or if you want to improve in something in in let's say in in, in business you want to improve you want to read a book maybe you can combine that with your health as well, with eating healthy. So for example, for me, I like when I'm eating to put some audiobooks, right? So for example, and that's the combining me, the comp basically integration and combination of health and, um, sorry, of health of eating and some kind of uh, business or wealth uh, progression as well. So always think to yourself, how can I integrate as many things as possible during the day and maybe combine even things together like eating and listening to audiobooks. Many time, many people like to uh, work out and listen to audiobooks. I like that less. I like to be really focused when I work out. Um, or for example, what else can you do? So basically we'll integrate everything together. And also remember to combine your productive times. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, my voice. Sorry, remember to combine your productive time 
with relaxation time so for me it's meditation even eating for me is sometimes just a relaxation during the day so meditation maybe you can combine meditation throughout the day and that is basically your relaxation time and that's basically your work-life balance because it's going to make you really really relax and calm and get ready to focus on the next task of the day that's what i like to do at least it makes me really focus and and single thought minded if, if that's even a sentence right so you, you know what i mean instead of getting all your head surrounded by and overwhelmed by too many thoughts after you meditate i know okay that's my next task let's get it done and before my head is even getting back to thinking too much i'm just fully immersed in the progress and i'm in flow and i love it and i enjoy it and that's for me the ideal scenario in life to really get yourself a life where you enjoy every day and every day is a vacation so you don't really need to take a vacation and there's a sentence that says if you need to um, basically if all you think about is your next vacation don't go back to work from your next vacation because something wrong in your day-to-day you need to get to a point where your day-to-day is enjoying you're enjoying it it's like a a place for you to to just use yourself basically express yourself as much as possible as a human being and and really enjoy your day-to-day and combine all of those areas together if it's health wealth love and happiness and put them all together as one integrated um thing that calls call we call you so um yeah i hope that makes sense guys that's for me at least i rather have that i'd much rather have that than anything else so yeah hope you enjoyed it guys if you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below uh let me know what you think what is the best way for you to integrate work-life balance and yeah that, that's it subscribe hit the notification button if you didn't yet because i'm posting vid- uh, videos every day so it's going to make sure you're not going to miss one and let me know in the comments below what your thoughts what other ideas for videos you have for me and yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it guys and i'll see you soon